very good evening to all of you. Thank you, our viewers, for tuning in again, even on a Friday like this. Uh, I'm excited today. Uh, we, we bring you real life experiences, real life stories, and people that have gone ahead of us that have experienced uh, areas in life that you haven't or are going or having a hard time in them. And they are giving us advices, blocks that you can build your life. And before I begin, I want to appreciate our Father and the Prophet of the House for this chance even to speak to the world. And for that, Father, we are forever grateful. Uh, let me start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, even as our viewers listen to us, even as our guests begin to speak to them, her lips shall be full of wisdom, O God, and they shall gain something. Someone shall be encouraged, someone shall be transformed, someone shall be changed, someone shall get a new oomph even to move on in life. To the glory and honor of your holy name, we give you the praise and all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed and believed. Amen. Today I'm excited. We've gone all the way outside our, our comfort zones to bring you a lady that we know uh, that is doing great in business and I would like to introduce her. Let me, let me allow her to introduce herself. Welcome so much mom. Thank you for hosting us here. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to to thank you so much for traveling all the way from town to here. Yeah. It's a great honor. I don't take it for granted just to come and see and hear what I do. Yes. Yes, as a person, I'm Harriet Mirigi and I love God. Mm -hmm. I love God so much that everything about me is found in God. Mm -hmm. It's until I found God that I moved on. Otherwise, yeah. life was stagnant. Mm -hmm. It was comfort, comfort all the way through. Mm -hmm. Until I found God, I started moving. Yes. The first thing is we are here in, a, in our last project, actually on our wing project mm -hmm. that we call Swala. It's called Swala Lunch. Let me explain where the word Swala came from about. This place is in Maasai land, mm -hmm. uh, in Savannah. Mm -hmm. The vegetation is pure Savannah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep um, wildlife. I went all the way to KWS. Mm -hmm. so that I could be able to keep all the types of animals. Mm -hmm. But before I did, it was a bit, the, the, the season came of a great drought. Yeah. And I, I saw the vegetation could not hold any animal here. Yeah. I was sustained even for three months. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I decided to change. And I seen, and I'd already given it a name, a Swara lunch. Mm -hmm. So Swara remains, Mm. There are many swallows around. Mm. Okay. This is a place of animals, a wild animals, and that's why we are developing on a, a savannah uh, kind of climate. Mm. And uh, we started, uh, first of all, I came here 2013. Yeah. 2012. 2012 is when I came, but I started developing, developing in 2013. Mm. We came here with my son, mm -hmm. Mr. Moria, mm -hmm. because my Nasuko had told us there is a piece of land that is being sold. Yeah. So we came and went around Mayan. Yeah. Mayan is full of terrain. Mm -hmm. Mayan is not only it's not a front land like Swara. Yeah. Mayan is uh, like it's it strokes a bit. Mm -hmm. And therefore when we went around, we found that it had Electricity, the people had before us had electricity, they had water. Mm -hmm. And then we went around and said, This is the land that God has given us. Wow. And we claimed it like Joshua. Yeah. I was told by God, Wherever you step, mm -hmm. this is your land. So I claimed it yes. with my son. And as we went around, we found a Maasai man uh -huh. somewhere doing something. And then we asked him, When we are, we are blessed, when you find mm -hmm. a blessing, a treasure, mm -hmm. How do you call it? Said a Mayan. Mayan is a wow. Maasai name meaning mm. blessings. Uh -huh. From there, mm. we decided with my son that will be the name of that piece of land. Mm -hmm. And we went home thinking, what can we do in a land like that one? And therefore, we sat for about six months trying to fence. Oh trying to think uh, for what you, you can, what, what, what can we develop. Mm. We asked, uh, can we do farming, do cows? Mm -hmm. And I went to Israel uh -huh. to learn about uh, farming. I went to many projects in Kenya that do ngombes. Uh -huh. But when I came back, 
Mm. I said me, I don't have energy for the whole mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. And we changed. Uh. And then we, we came up with uh, an intelligent uh, aspect and uh, said that we are going to do hotel. Mm-hmm. And this is not an ordinary hotel, it's where we have built villas. Mm-hmm. We sell and then the, we land the villas for the villas as hospitality for them. All right. And that is Mayan, it is growing, mm. it is now international. Sure. It is just last year we got the first class award, award yeah. in the world for the most luxurious villas. Wow, in the world. In the world. <laughs> And we celebrated it with a, with a prayer mm. with Pastor Maniki. Yes. That was the beginning of this year, January. Mm-hmm. Why did our virus win? Is that because they were built on the foundation of the sure ground of God. Mm. And uh, on top of them, the structure is excellent. Mm. We took time. Mm-hmm. And on top of the virus, we have a, a swimming pool. And the relaxation areas, jacuzzi, and what we have, yes. which is very rare in the world. Okay. Otherwise, we have been we are working there, but that is just my hand. How long has my hand taken? My hand has taken me since we started up to this day. We are eight years old, mm. but we started doing biashara mm. immediately because we sold uh, plots. We are selling, we are building, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we sold even, uh, we are selling villas now. Yeah. We are doing uh, hospitality. Mm. And our rooms, I think, are the best in Kenya, in, in Kenya and in the world. And because the world, if I, I have the world the award, <laughs> it means that I am good. True. I'm international now. True. But that is one, uh, one uh, that is eight years of my life. That's what I've been doing. Mm committed come every morning from town go yeah. home in the evening yeah. is it raining is it not raining wow. it, whatever the, the, the whatever it was mm. it was me and uh, i was committed to do it mm. i focused mm. and i gave it my time mm. and i gave it a prayer mm. and i gave it uh, to god I, it was dedicated to god by pastor maniki yeah. so the land and whatever we were doing was already dedicated to god so it was god bring it i was just a steward because when you look at me i don't have the strength i don't have, look like it mm. but god mm. used sure, me sure. to do it sure. but that is not where my life started yeah. as i told her married i'm a mother mm. of four children yeah Married, I was married by a lawyer by mm. the name Mr. Murigi, mm. who passed on to nine. Mm. When I was, um, I was young, young mother, mm. I was a teacher, mm. but I was a teacher for a very short time. Mm. Not because I didn't like teaching, mm. but my my focus was in a family. Right. I wanted to bring out a family. Mm. That has, I have given it time, mm-hmm. I have given it my all. Mm. So I told the TSC people I'm going to cook for my husband wow. and my kids <laughs> yeah. and I'm going home. Mm. They thought it was a joke. Very few people do that. Yes, very yeah. few people do that. Mm. I gave up, it, I gave up, they went home yeah. and exactly doing what I wanted to do. I, I took care of my children, yeah. I could visit Mori in Alliance, yeah. I could visit Mori in Yeri, yeah. visit Gakin Kenyai, yes. without asking anybody's permission. All right. And I also had a young boy mm. I took care of, who is called Michael yeah. Mirigi, mm. and uh, I grew the family until and I was doing a bit of Juakari mm-hmm. work. Mm. I might tell you about, little about the Juakari. Let us hear that one. Mm. How I started it is, uh, remember I was a professional teacher mm. and I went to a Juakari. Mm. And the Juakari is so interesting and it's, it's such a wonderful sector to work in mm. because you do what you want. Mm-hmm. You are also a person who is selling 
whatever you are selling is you are marketing yourself, you are marketing what you are selling, marketing what you are selling, you are marketing <laughs> the services that you are giving. So yeah, it's all about it's true. you. Yeah, true. So it requires high integrity. Yeah. It requires a lot of discipline. True. Shakespeare mm -hmm. says, yeah. uh, discipline is what carries everyone's life. Mm. That is, when you are disciplined, you are committed, when you are disciplined, you have integrity, when you are disciplined, mm. you, are, you know what to do, you take, manage time, yeah. you manage also you are, you are in a man, mm -hmm. so that at least you are balanced, mm -hmm. you eat well, you go to church, your spiritual life is good, you are, everything is okay. Mm. That is discipline. That was uh, Shakespeare says and repeats it many a times mm. that without this brain you can go nowhere. I like that one. So, mm. uh, when you come to talk about uh, uh, yes. your career, yes. your career needs a lot of this brain because nobody is this brain in you. Mm. Nobody is telling you wake up, nobody is telling you go to sleep, nobody <laughs> tells you go for lunch. This is a time to do what you manage your Yourself. own time. It is true. And manage your own self. Mm. And manage your events. Manage you know, you, are, you, you know your priorities. Mm. And then also your person as a person. You take care of your etiquette. Who am I? Yes. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. What is it entailed to, for me to do? Mm. So when I went to Juakari, mm. first of all, I did um, in Juakari. I did, I, I did um, a, 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 a hospitality. Hospitality? I had a restaurant, yes. A restaurant in, 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 in town, uh -huh. a big one called Riway. Ah, yeah, yeah. I called it Riway mm -hmm. because me, I was not, I said I want to sleep in work. <laughs> so whoever will eat from me is whoever is walking along the way and he wants to find something to eat and then I, it's a railway. It's yeah, just that, beside. Yeah. And then I worked on that restaurant for a lot, for about five years. Five years. Five, five years. years. And those five years, I found now my children are not given enough attention because mm -hmm. I'm also taking, I'm getting home late a bit. Okay. So I sold <laughs> for the sake of my kids and Again. for the sake of my husband, yeah. the, family. the family. Family was core. To me, even today, family is core. All oh, right. It's yeah. my core. Mm. And then after I sold it, I went to do. I had a building and I went into my building and I started, and I started selling utensils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first time I went to a comba to buy utensils yeah. is when I found yeah. I don't belong there. Uh -uh. Because carrying utensils from Nairobi here it's cumbersome. Oh yeah. Because yeah. of the the, 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 the way the, the glasses, the you know the, oh, the, the fragile, the delicate yeah. things. Yeah. Also, it is bulky. Yeah. So getting it to here, you would get a half of what you bought. That's bad. <laughs> so I did it for six months. Only. Yeah. See, this yeah. it was it is it's cumbersome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever does it is excellent. Yeah. Then I yeah. couldn't do it. Yeah. Then I went and I asked my son, Mr. Mori, who is now Moria, yeah. James Mori was a young boy. Yeah. He was in the university. Mm -hmm. I asked him, do you know anybody who sells clothes in Nairobi? You know, nobody is giving you the... No, I'm looking for information. I nobody like is giving me the information. Yeah. Nobody wants to tell me where they buy. It's kind of secretive. It's a like kind of secretive. Yeah. It's beyond tomboya. Yeah. And my husband's policy is nobody should be found beyond tomboya. Uh -huh. The other side of the Eastern world. Yeah. Because that was their policy in Kenya School of Law. Oh, and there was right. so no lawyer should be found on the other side of Toboya Street. So he brought it home. So he brought it home. <laughs> so no one was supposed to be found there and the clothes are found there. Yeah. Even uh, Agadisa Lodge, Yeah. Uh, and I cannot go there and I had never gone there. Mm. So it was so difficult for me to start that business. Uh -huh. My mother told me, he knows of a boy the who is school together mm -hmm. and the mother sells clothes. All right. So he introduced me to the boy and I was taken where the mother sells clothes. And I, I came with a few and started a career of clothes, among other things that I was doing. Mm -hmm. Then I decided, now this one mm. is what I would do because I can close the shop, 
Oh yeah, I can right carry in a briefcase. I can carry in a small <laughs> car. I like you know. Yeah. I can be dropped in the, in the upper area of Nairobi and I walk to Garissa wherever I want to go. Yeah. And then I became a freelancer. I could be able to 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 go even behind the streets. Yeah. And I started selling clothes from there. I like that. <laughs> You've done a lot. <laughs> yeah. Why I sold clothes is mm -hmm. my Mori and going to the university. Yeah. Murevi was also joining university and I didn't want them to be in school, to have to be housed in school. Uh -huh. I wanted them to be housed where I can see them, where we can talk. And therefore I went all the way to buy a very big house in Nairobi. For them? For them. Oh, right. For the family. For the family, yeah. Mr. Murevi bought a big house, yeah. five bedrooms, so it is another home. Wow. We started right. another home in Nairobi. Yeah. And when I'm, and the one thing I liked is once you go on a Friday, mm. I could go buy my clothes on a Saturday, <laughs> and then <laughs> bring, I come things. back with them on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Then Monday, I'm uh -huh. selling. Ah, if I go there next week, I've already sold what I came with. Do my yeah, uh -huh. that time we were very few. Yeah, and uh, people, people did not like. Um, People wanted new, new things all the time. Yeah, so me, fashion. I did not have dead stock. Mm. Oh, because you're going every weekend. Yeah, and I did not have, I, I didn't have a, a big stock. Mm. So it's a small stock that I could come and set it within a week, yeah. finish, go back. So that I can go see the children, take mm. them food, be with them over the weekend. Oh, you're killing. As they are going to school. And then come back on a Sunday mm. or on a Monday. Yeah. So the little Mike was never in school on Fridays <laughs> until he was in standard six, <laughs> because you would always carry him yeah, to Nairobi, to Nairobi and yeah. come back. Mm. Then I did clothes for eleven years. That one you did. All for the years that they were in the university. Ah, that All the years that they were in school, I yeah. was doing clothes. Yeah. I started uh, driving school. I bought a driving school called Nyota. I uh -uh. did it, yeah, I, I, I did it for about, I was doing it alongside clothes. Yes. But I did it for a short time. Mm -hmm. Why? I did not like it because Why? Mimi, I didn't want to stay with the mechanics. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, that is a good boot. Yes. <laughs> <I'm a show laughs> so you, you visit the mechanics more often than not. And me, mm. I, I felt dumb. Mm -mm. I am not of that type to be with the <laughs> me mechanic. Throughout. I know. Yeah. Sometimes you are cheated. Oh, yeah, Sometimes yeah, you are conned. <laughs> so I said, this is not my business. <laughs> okay. I sold it. Uh, how long did that one take? <laughs> it took about six years. You tried. Yeah, I tried. You gave it the best. I gave it my best. Yeah, I gave it true. my time. It is but it was not me. Yeah. So me, nobody, say, nobody has looked at me and told me this is what you should do yeah. or that is what you shouldn't do. Yeah. So that one, it, I could not do it. Mm. Therefore, when I, as I was getting tired with all this and what have you, like now, Mr. Modia, they were finishing university. Yeah. They, were, they were getting employed. Mm. My daughter was employed. Yeah. And gone to Kigali. Mm. That's why he was, she, she went to work. Modia was working with, with um, Sentam then was not Sentam, but yeah. they had another name. And uh, Muredi was in uh, Assess Kenya. Uh -huh. So we were all now grown up. Yeah. And so where is Michael now? Michael was in uh, high school in Dagoretti. Ah, well, that's, <laughs> doing good. So we are doing yeah. good, all of us. Yeah. And my husband decided now I'm going to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. he, he, he went to Nairobi, opened a very nice farm. Mm. And then I was left home. I could mm. go see them, come back, yeah. come on Friday with all of them, and then we went, we went and we, it was good. Mm. So, 2007, mm. my firstborn got married, that is Moria to Joan Wairimo. Yeah. So, she got, he, you know, I was getting older now and yeah. I was getting more responsible. Wow. Children who are growing, it's no more wrong about uh, now so much. They are not that tender. Oh, yeah, 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 true. And, uh, Unfortunately, 2009, my husband passed on. He was giving a lecture in Mombasa and he yeah. passed on in Mombasa. But then I, knew, I had come to church to Pastor Manik's church. Wow, yeah. Me, I was 
I went on look searching. Yeah. I found Gladys. Pastor Gladys. And I asked her, her mm. where can I go to church? Where can I I was getting tired with um, with our church and I'm not discrediting it, yeah. Catholic Church. Mm. There was a lot of infighting. Uh -huh. And the infighting, I would not take it. Mm. I was feeling very uncomfortable. So I asked my husband, can I? Change. No, no, I didn't ask first. First of all, I found a church. <laughs> You're clever. <laughs> yeah. And then I started sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. And then he asked me, where do you sneak to? I'm aware well, there's a church next to where our building. Yeah. And uh, when I'm not working, I sneak their lunch hour. All oh, right. And when you're around, I don't go because I want to give you food. <laughs> so he told me, let me go and see this church. So he goes and finds us, we are in Mabati church. Church, yeah. And in Mabati church, we are in wooden, uh -uh. wooden seats. Mm -hmm. your, your, your benches. Yeah. And he, he wondered, how can a person like... You. Me, you mm. now my wife. Yeah. <laughs> not me. Me, I'm not saying me. He, <laughs> my, he, my, my, my wife. Yeah. Be this kind of a, a church and then you sit on this seat. I'll buy you seats. Then he bought me plastic, I think they were grey in colour, yeah. six of them. Ah. Yeah. It was a, you don't sit on that. Don't sit, please don't sit on a bench. <laughs> yeah, so I sat on, <laughs> kept, <laughs> kept on sitting on those, uh, of course, not yeah. always. They were put in front, whoever comes first would sit. sit yeah, of course. And then, uh, then my husband did not approve for me to move to that church until mm -hmm. we talked and agreed. Yeah. And they gave me permission. Yeah. And said it's okay. Yeah. Just go there in peace. Yeah. I don't have to, to prevent you from what you want, what mm -hmm. you are in. But I want to see your pastor. Mm. So we met. Yeah. At the club, mm. my husband was a club chairman then. Our sports club, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, our pastor became a periodic member mm. through him, through his influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he wanted to be seeing this man who, who <laughs> takes care of my husband, my well, wife. Spiritually, <laughs> uh, spiritually, I yeah. also want to see him take tea where true. I am. Yeah. And then we we went on. Wow. And uh, when he, he went to be with the Lord, I was already established in church. Okay. Me, yeah. I was fed then, I was grown. Mm. My inner man was very strong. Yeah, yeah. Because I was feeling the urge mm. of him getting saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, during that season? And during that, 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 it was about how many years? It was around, around four or five years before yeah. he died. Yeah. So my heart was, how does this man come to? To the Lord, yeah, and that was why me I I, I was seeking God, yeah, like a mad person mm. with, with the passion, yeah, lunch hour, water, whatever. Or the people say they don't have time. Let me tell you, when mm. you are seeking God mm. in, in the humble beginnings, mm. we, we were seeking God, it is true. and then, it is true. yeah, no lunch hour. If if I'm available, I'm there. Mm. And nothing else mattered at that time mm. is I want God. God yeah. I need him. Mm. I need to understand his word. Yeah. To kiwa na mgeni. At a year steady apo apo canoe ground. Yeah, yeah. Me, I would ask permission from everywhere. I would sit there. Mm. And my husband used to tell me, bring yeah. your preachers, don't cook them in the people's houses. Bring them at the club. Oh, we yeah. will give you a minimum charge. Wow. And the Russian guy. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, doctor, yeah, doctor, we used yeah. to pay the bills. Yeah. We take care of wow. them yeah. every day to our lunch, to our yeah. dinner. We sit with them, they eat, mm. and then we Lucy and I yeah. we were able we were able to take care of them. That's service to God, yeah. Yeah, that was service to God. Yeah. And mm. those were the good days. Mm. Very good days. Yeah. Then my husband went to be with the Lord. Mm. And, uh, and me, it, 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 well, it, it was hard, it was difficult, but remember I'm in the Lord. Mm. The Holy Spirit comforted me, and that's when I know mm. the work of the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, that exactly. He can comfort you. Nobody can comfort, not even your husband, not even your child, yeah. not even anyone. Mm. It is only the Holy Spirit of God that can comfort a person. It is true. Leave alone what people say. <laughs> Leave alone the, the, the words. 
Hakuna isi naingiri hapa sinatokea hapa. You are still one day. Because you are, you are done. Mm. Yeah, you are not no more. Yeah. But at night somewhere along the way, mm. the Holy Spirit will come, whisper a word of comfort mm. and comfort you. And yeah. give you wisdom and guide you on how to go. Yes. Me, the Holy Spirit took care of me. From that day, I realized the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And up to today, it is the Holy Spirit who works wow. for me. I don't struggle. Yeah. I don't have issues. Yeah. I don't have sleepless nights. Uh -uh. Even as a widow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. me, I can appeal to widows yes. until the Holy Spirit comes yes. and take over your life. And it becomes yeah. a real, the Jesus then becomes a real aspect for you. Yeah. So that when you need food, you is provided. Yes. When you need protection, it is there. Yeah, yes. The, the Holy Spirit becomes a real helper in every area of your life. Yeah. And that on, and gives you favor. Because you know, in most cases, oh, yeah. they don't have favor. It is true. Yeah, it is you true. know. Mm. And you think that is the, you know, even if people don't have favor, God will give you favor. You. And when God gives you favor, mm. there is nothing else that matters. Because God has taken over. Mm. So it is you to swim in it. Mm. And enjoy the life that God has given you. Mm. And that's what uh, kept, that, that was made me grow. Yeah. But before, we, uh, I, before I really uh, took, I really got it, yeah. I said now, I, I, got, I had a lot of time. I'm no longer doing clothes, I don't want to meet people. Me mm. at Ayoshu Duka, it was on top where my husband was, mm. top of commercial bank. I yeah. never went to that that building again. What? So me, I didn't know what was there, what was not there. My, my son, who is also a lawyer, yeah. came and did the transaction of the office. Yeah. Me, my, my shop, mm. I not enter there. I was like a girl who was working for yeah. me. Nika mambia tu aswa ngu zote kwa ya building yetu. Kila kitu. Tumakuja hapo kadibu na Triple G. Yeah. And whatever she sold, whatever she did, I was not there. Mm. And the business, I, I, I closed. Yeah. I couldn't I turn it. Yeah. In that kind of a, a situation. Yeah. Then I asked God for guidance and I started now build Falcon. Ah, yeah, I called the uh, pastor. That was a season of Falcon. Yeah, I called pastor. We prayed over the over the place. Yeah. the place was so. It was a bar. Mm. That place was uh, dust. The water and the water and the They had their their garbage. Mm. It was a garbage center. Uh -uh. That for right. of mine. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It was not fenced. Mm. You know when God does not fence you. Again, <laughs> I mean, when oh, you are yeah, in, in, in yeah. lives, yeah. when you are drawn around God to do the fencing, mm. like he does, he says in Isaiah 5, mm. I would I will put down the fence, mm. you become, that is a, a garbage Fish. center now. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> can go to anything. <laughs> so there was no fence. When I looked at it, I, I looked at uh, Isaiah 5. <laughs> I said, no. This place of mine yeah. cannot be there. It's a year five. No, 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 no. Where no. God says, I'll pull out the fence. Yeah. So I went there. We started building a hotel. Wow. Built on a base that my husband wanted to build it. He had already ah. been there. The, the, plan? The, the plan, the plan, and the whatever. Yeah. Everything was ready. All right. So whatever he had done, we built on it. Mm. So he started building. And I, my son and I, mm. the others who are young, yeah. we decided to do it. Yeah. And we gave ourselves 40 weeks. 40 weeks. 40 wow. weeks. I work with weeks. You work with right. Not yes. years. <laughs> I, I work with weeks. 40 weeks. Yes. To we bring up the structure. To bring up the tire and at finish least. and start using it is 40 weeks. 40 weeks. 40 weeks. I, I think we'll show them what Falcon is like. Yeah. Yeah. Falcon, yeah. when we started, I started planting trees. Mm -hmm. I felt the old trees, I started planting. As they are building, I'm planting trees. All right. As they are building, yeah. I'm also thinking of how I will, I will plant the, the flowers, you know, groundwork is done, you know, landscaping, yeah. landscaping I'm yeah. pulling out the old buildings. Yeah. Which used to be the little bars, the little mm -hmm. room the Lala, <laughs> yes. the our to public. In fact, where we are put up um, our swimming pool yeah. was full of uh, garbage and small pit to the training sana. 
Oh, it be yeah, too yeah, time yeah. to clean it before we did the swimming because the swimming pool yeah. was after that. We oh, did we were yeah. not able to do we didn't know we would do a swimming pool. Ah, Serious right. it is. Yeah. Swimming pool is technical, it's a bit uh, you need you need you need money, you need mm. time, you need the experts mm. so that of course it doesn't it claim lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we did it after an afterthought. When the mm. buildings came so nicely, ah. we said now somebody told us now do people sleep here without even a swimming pool. Wow. <laughs> so we took eight more weeks. All right for the to, swimming. for the swimming pool right. and everything. Mm. And uh, 2011, mm. yes, 2011, 2012, 2011, I think, is when we opened it in December. Ah. Yeah. All right. That, that's and started great. selling. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there. Mm. <laughs> I now it took off, and we were happy, and God <laughs> was there with us. And yeah. it was an excellent piece of a hotel. It is true, it's perfect. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, then I said, if I have a bigger land, ah, what a no. perfect, <laughs> what a better hotel would I have? <laughs> yeah. So during my free days, I yeah. was just driving mm -hmm. to Naibo. I bought land for my daughter in Naivo. Mm -hmm. I could drive back. Yeah. That's when I'm free and they also meditating on the word of God. And they don't want people. Uh -huh. You know, one thing about widowhood is these things you don't want to be with people because you you, you want to be you want to just to shrink to yourself. Right. One thing. Mm. Oh, it's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Another one is uh you also want to know who you are. Yeah. What are your oh, strengths? You discover again. Uh, you discover yourself once again. Mm. Because when you are your husband, there was a lot that you did not know about yourself, yeah. did not know about your strength. Yeah. So when I built that one, I looked at it and said, Kumbe, I have the strength. I love that. Yeah. But before then, then yeah. my husband allowed me to do anything I wanted to do. Yeah. And you did a lot. So I was also yeah. building the structures at home. Okay, okay, I started okay. with the house of Wakodisha Uko, the pastor, the Guadam, the Nyobe. Those are very humble beginnings yeah, yeah. when you don't know if you can do much. Mm. So I was, I, was, I was growing on that. Yeah, yeah. So when I built that, I said, I, <laughs> I, I think I'm strong. <laughs> I think I also like construction. Oh, yeah. I think I'm a good manager. Yeah. I started thinking, hi, me, I think I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> through the word of God. It is true. It's if true. I anchor myself in the Lord, it is true. I think I can yeah. do a sport. Yeah. Mm. That time, you are meeting day and night to buy land for the church. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you moved to Yeah, Zion, I was one of the, uh, the people yeah. who were acting on that and meeting, mm. morning, mm. Billy, yeah. Usiku, to make sure that team of yeah. Akina Marite, Akina, who else was there, Akina Joshua, mm. we were meeting to a uh, pastor to, to see how we can get land. Okay. We are getting squeezed there. Yeah. It didn't had to be expanded. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> and I was, uh, I was the pioneer yeah. of the, of the of Sion. Wow, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Mm. And uh, we, we, we did, uh, was it the land breaking? The land breaking mm. uh, we mm. did, mm. I was in the forefront <laughs> of that one. And yeah. I, in that, in that, in that Maombi, me ni kasema na mimi ni kitoka hapa. Yako. Mimi ni kona yangu. I'm also going to do my sale. Yes, yes. So we did it. Yeah. And you see, mm. if you plant, the sima uta harvest. Simply, yeah. I harvested yeah. by coming here. Mm. When uh, they were building the first building, yeah. I was bu I was building my first villa in Mayan. In Mayan. Ah, yeah. As they were moving on, I was yeah. moving on. Oh. I was comparing the roots. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you plant, you have it. Yeah, me I plant. I planted and I'm investing in Mimi. Na sasa Mimi yao. Na wambia kwa nini ya mwini, and then Marita was in charge, and then another kina akina engineer, and there was another group of people, they were waiting, and akina mwada, then they kept on building, me I kept on also building mine. Alright. We moved to Sion. Yeah. And as they, we moved to Sion, as we moved to Sion, and already, 
had I already started, we, we had already started, we had already finished, finishing, mm. and I wanted to do, uh, we were doing the hospitality. Already? Not already, but, but you know, we are about to. Okay, okay. So as we started Sion, mine was also finishing. Ah. We had the first team building, Yawatu mm. Akanisa. Yeah, eh. He was there yeah, yeah, when yeah. it was very young. True. When we had just finished. Yeah, I remember. We were using a villa as a, a, a restaurant, mm. as a car office, mm. and then I needed villa moja. Mm. Yeah. So we did not have main structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so eh. from there we finished. Mm. We have built a very big. Uh, Restaurant, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many villas are there? Yeah. There are six. All right. And uh, we are doing it. We All are. Right. We are. We want to now to do the second. To naita cluster first cluster one. Yeah. Now we are going to do cluster two. All right. All the, the villas. Yeah. Right. Now as we were doing, we finish. We my son came home. Mm. Now the small young boy came mm. home. When we are burying my husband, he was too young. He was just going to the university. Mm -hmm. And it, he wrote in his tribute that me, I help mom. Wow. So once he finished his um, university, he finished his master's, yeah. he did uh, project planning, project ah, management. Right. And he came home. I like that. With all his belongings, everything. With a small car. Mm. A very small car. <laughs> <laughs> he had bought it for himself. Ah, that's nice. Because he was working with equity. Yeah. But not as a banker in other in the other 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 areas. Yeah. So he resigned and came home mm. in December. I found him here and I was not happy. I was happy. Why have you come? Why <laughs> about your life? Mm. Then in any. Mm. But the boy say, and the man said, I've just come. Yeah. And uh, I remember these words. Yeah. And I said, I am here to take care of a person who wants to walk a journey, whatever journey he wants to take, yeah. I will take care of him. Wow. And I will support him. Yeah. I decided in my heart, yeah. this guy, I am going to support this person, I'm going to pray for him. Yes. He is my son, he doesn't yes. have a father living, but God is his father. Yeah. I remembered Isaiah 58. Yeah. And no weapon. From that against yes. this boy who prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. No one spoken. Yes. Because I know people will speak, yeah. who will discourage. Yeah. And I covered him with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. He did not know how to pray himself. He did yeah. not come to church. Mm. He was, and he's not in my church, by the way, he's a Catholic. Yeah. All my children are not in my church. Yeah. They are Catholics. Yeah. Where their father left, where, where they, where they started. They started, yeah. And uh, when we came here, mm. Is a whole year. Mm. I gave him a whole year to do something. He was doing the horses. Mm. I bought two horses. Ah. And <laughs> I told him already I bought two horses. And yeah. they are fat, they came. Mm. Then he took, he took care of them. Wow. He's an animal person. Ah. He developed that, uh, that sector of horses. We have now 14 horses. Mm. He, uh, he has become a great. A great lover of them, they get a lot of money mm. because once you go around one hour, 1,500. Uh -uh. Yes. Yeah, guests. Yes. They become a money, <laughs> a source of money. money yeah. That is Zaka Biasha. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This man yeah. was doing polo. Mm. And uh, you can see this big, uh, this big, uh, this big cap here. Yeah. It is the Kenya best uh -uh. polo man. Yeah. This one here. We'll show that. Or we'll show it the, is the, right the, here. The, the, the award, yeah. yeah, the yeah. award. Yeah. He was a Kenyan best polo. Mm. This we can do it. Really. Doing with all the Wazungus around. They, do, they started it. They do it in Timau. Yeah. It's in Timau Club. Mm -hmm. And they do it in uh, all of, they do, they do it all over Kenya, Gilgit and yeah. other places. Yeah. He became now a polo man. Yeah. A horseman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then in the, in the midst, uh, as he was doing that with uh, this was Zungus and what have you, he was approached by one Zungu from um, British Army. Said you can build us houses. Yeah, we can rent them. Wow. They agreed. Mm. When they agreed, he came with a proposal. Yeah. It was looked at. Like Mr. Moria, you know, he's the main director. Yeah. He looked at it and said, "This work is doable." Yeah. Then uh, they brought even there. This is not my house. This is not a house. This house to be. Yeah. But this is the Britain type of a house. 
Ah, this, this is come. yeah. That this is there. Here in Swara now. Yeah, in Swara. Yeah, they came mm. with that plan. Mm. This is their plan. That's the how rooms, they do it. The what? This is how they do it. Mm -hmm. Very simple houses. Yeah, I can tell. Come the from kitchen, you go there. Come the everything is simple. Yeah. So they came with a plan. Yeah. Then we then uh, of course people have gone to school. The professional advice, the what was required and to was sorted because mm. at all times when you are doing something that is big, look for good professional advice. Okay, so the first thing when you are doing a big thing, look for professional. Uh, for, yeah, the professional advice. Right. A lot of, of either the workmanship and everything yeah. should come from a professional yeah. so that the work that is done is excellent. Yeah, yeah. But who is carrying the vision? You. you. So yeah. you keep on now checking, keep on seeing how it is, if mm -hmm. the vision is mm -hmm. being yeah. followed. What is the greatest challenge you find in such when you're doing these big projects? When I do this big challenge, it's because the, the, you are not together with the, maybe the constructor. Yeah. Want to sh follow shortcuts. Oh, yeah. And you don't want the shortcuts. Yeah. Another thing is because there are people who are also finna finna. Mm -hmm. Pasimiti there and there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can yeah, see yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and there, there, there are challenges, yeah. very many challenges by yeah. the way. Uh, maybe the soil will not agree yeah. on what you the be mm -hmm. Maybe the soil is a bit yeah. soggy. Yeah. And maybe the people who come to work with their people, they may fail you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not about you, it's not yeah. about the money. Yeah, again, but yeah. people who are working for you yeah. may fail you. Yeah. So all those are things, yeah, but so you how, are... How do you manage all that now? You are manager. So you just manage? <laughs> you manage with a lot of discipline. You come yeah. in the morning, make sure that everything is there, that yeah. work is done. Yeah. You cannot manage when you are far away. You cannot yeah, manage you on telephone. Oh, yeah, you, you just don't call manage. Manage. Are you there? Are you there? Are you working? <laughs> how is the swell? How many... No, you can't. You can't. You can't.